don't get it. You know, so whoever is voting for for them, they'll be happy when they come out. I don't, I don't really know why, because on the inside, they don't do much. So I'm trying to understand what people are voting for. But obviously, I'm not the people or the persons voting. Is the strategy good? Yeah, because it's working. Um, is this something I'll do? No. But the only reason why I don't like it is because people on the inside don't know that he's married. So that's also time with people's brands. Jeremy. Hi guys, you guys welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? I hope you're good. Hmm. Please, you people should see and the big H. Big H for a reason. <laughs> Andy is looking so take away. This picture is fire. Sorry, I've been looking at this picture. I said, wait, who finally convinced Andy to wear bra for this shoot? Abi, she did not. Because I've been looking at the picture. The picture is looking so fine. That was why so I said, this student, they swore for them. They said, no bra in our life. Bra is very uncomfortable. Let me be honest. Let me be honest. But looking at this picture, it's obvious like she's wearing one. And it made the whole picture look beautiful. And someone was asking, why didn't they wear wigs in the house? You could see that they have wigs. Because the f a few times I've seen them wear wigs. But then again, the answer comes with lush money. Lush hair money. Lush hair gives a price to a certain housemate probably that uses the salon the most, that wears that their hair bonnet and the rest. So maybe that is because of um, lush money. That's why they didn't wear more of wigs. But this girl is looking smoking beautiful. So we're approaching the final weeks and the dramas are reducing. If this set even had drama, me, I don't know. So Onyeka is one person that I used to ask myself if Onyeka was not on this show. Because in all honesty, throughout the show, she gave us what to talk about. She gave us a lot to talk about. So guys, that being said, double K. They were in the head of house lounge. I don't even think that Kayo this left yesterday, so because I, I didn't even expect anything to happen because they already know that small kids they kiss, they can tell the house. If they come cuckoo do pass that one, Ebuka might just ask them again on Sunday and you know, so they are just trying to be careful, but it doesn't I mean it doesn't stop small touching body. I know like this here touching body. So what they say is our legal ship or the only legal ship in the house. So Sean, hmm, a lot of people share this the same view with Sean. Sean says whoever is voting for double K, that they are doing well, but he does not get it too. Cause in the inside he stayed with them. I did not say anything these people did, but well, that he's trying to really understand why people are voting for double K. You know what? Saying? Sean go talk in talk. That's it. Saying. He's very, that's why somebody said they should stop inviting London boys, that they are very blunt, and Nigerians don't like people that say it as it, as it is. Uh -huh. But then again, this is his opinion. And if you know me for one thing, I don't fault anybody's opinion. So far, you put it out respectfully without trying to, you know, insult somebody. If he says, if that's what he feels for someone who was in the house for eight weeks with them. Who am I to say otherwise? But then again, don't forget to go and vote your fave. After today, tomorrow is the last day for voting. Like I, I always I always remind you people. Yeah, voting ends tomorrow, I think by 10 p.m. or so. Even if you don't you don't have money to recharge your Go TV, you don't have money to recharge your DSTV, you can still vote on the website and the mobile voting. You can use the same phone. Just once you finish voting on their site. Mm. Put your phone on desktop mute then you have another hundred vote then if you have like five numbers you have given the person 1000 votes if you if you have like um i think you can vote 10 times with one device right that's what they said with a device so there are so many ways to this thing so put your money where your mouth is leave what sean is saying and go vote for whoever you want to vote for Onyeka is up, Cassia is up, Victoria is up, um, Mbadi Way Twins are up, um, Nelita are up, one of the Aces guys so far, he's up, 
Even though Cassia fans are saying some person they are voting for Anita and Tufa, and someone is like Anita that nominated Cassia, what is the problem? So, you guys, people should leave nomination. The person you are quarreling that nominated somebody, did the person not nominate somebody? Did the person nominate Kayude and, and Big Brother, Abi Ninja? Did anybody nominate the ninjas and, and Big Brother? So, you must have to call somebody's name. It's just a game. If Grace finds you, you're lucky. You thank God. But remember, it's not only winning the show. Some people win more on the outside more than the show. Uh -huh. So people come outside and they win more. So just support your faith as much as you can. And let's see where it takes them to. As usual, Double K fans have dragged Sean left, right and center. But still, I'm not sure Sean is even listening. So that will not consign that London boy. So he's, he's, he has talked his talk like Shags and he's moving forward. And he's, I noticed that he's very close friends with Shags, anyways. I've seen them together with Neil, Ozo. I say, CB brother boys linking up. Sean, don't even join. <laughs> so that's good. But that aside, so I was trying to talk about Onyeka and Cassia before I had that digression. After Onyeka said somebody should write so that she can explain. Finally, she she resorted to writing it. The way Kelly Ray was just trying to be nice with Onyeka, I'm like, oh, where did you do this one? No. <laughs> Onyeka here and there, even in the night, he was sitting in the dining, he was almost sleepy when Onyeka was writing the thing. He, they were both tired. And he had to, if he needs to pass and win his wager, so if that's what it takes, you do it. It's not, it's temporarily. Then um, Onyeka was put in the kitchen sponsored by cassia <laughs> so i uh, you know she does not like it she did it at all in fact she has said in her house she pays people for chairs she's not something everybody have their strength <laughs> that that one she does not but do them then they put her in the kitchen now you're putting me in kitchen where i'm supposed to be busy stay there you're not telling me to come and write to her that's the way that's what is giving but this morning um something that would have given us a little drama she was just saying that whatever they are doing will work in her favor. You know, you know she doesn't like kitchen. You put that there now. You want her to be active in wager and the rest. And I saw Nelly this afternoon telling her she should not forget to clean the kitchen later. And she's like, Nelly, keep me. And one funny thing that happened today, Wani's waist is paining her. I don't understand like how I her. Waist pain is not a small thing, no. And if you finish looking for who to ask to cook for you, is Onyeka. The only thing that made me laugh intermittently, I would just hear when he say, Onyeka, the food never ready. I'll just bust out. That is, if you see me, you'll be like, Why is this woman laughing? I'm like, This Onyeka that is in the kitchen asking for green pepper, yellow pepper. I'm like, Wani, you never hungry. The next thing I just heard when he said, Onyeka, I'm dying, dude. That was what I said, Onyeka, break this food you're cooking. Uh -uh. Before Wani would just buy. Well guys, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Do not forget to vote for your faves. If you want to see your fave on Sunday, sitting down, not with a book on stage. You do the needful. Bye.